Hi there, Doug. This is Kyle, and I'm here with that video for you that I was going to bring for you about the 1829 Cat Bust Half Dollar. And I've got it right here just for you. And I think you may like it. Because here it is. Get you a really good close up here. Bring it way up to the light. Eighteen twenty nine, right there. Eighteen twenty nine. Get a good look at all the little uh, details on the front of the coin. You got a word, a really nice strong word, liberty. Detail of the stars, the sun, moon, and the stars, and all there. Then close up of the face. Zoom out a little bit. Now we'll get a good look at the color of it here because see the color. It's gray. It's a light gray color. One pretty much all solid. Not really any variations. And you can see the wear patterns on top. And there are not really at all very, there's not really any big problems with the coin surface. I mean, I don't see a bunch of hairlines necessarily. Take a look. If there are any hairlines, they're very minute and they do not cover the entire coin. The, the most highest concentration of any hairlines I see are right here. Probably see them dancing in the light a little bit, but that's about it. As I can see on the front, there's no hairlines anywhere else, really. Here's the edge. And the coin is nice, one solid color. Even on the back, it's one solid color. There's no, like, weird, different tonings and all that stuff. And as you can see, the edge is also rather one color as well. It doesn't appear to be damaged or anything, no. Nasty remnants or anything. That's the star. All right, there's a star. Right here is the word half. I think it's the word half. No, it's fifty. F I F T Y. Cents. Fifty cents. Of. Of. So say of. Yes. Of. Half. There's the word half. Here's the letter A, a nice little tiny letter A, and the word D-O-L-L-A-R, and the star again. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the back. Take a good look. Take a second here. I do not seem to detect a large mass of hairlines on the back either. I would say that the coin overall is pretty original. I wouldn't say that it is 100% original because these really don't come around very often in their completely original state. They're almost always cleaned in some respects. Most of the ones that are certified, they're usually marked as details or they've got other little problems with them. but. Once in a while, I do see some that are completely original and have no flaws with them, like any old cleanings or anything. And they're really almost impossible to afford. So, um, if you want to take another good look here, we've got the 50C. And let me take a look myself, because it might be a variety. For all we know, it could be a variety. And it doesn't look like it is, but... Still looks pretty nice. Lots of detail. You can see the old wear patterns here. How the tops are kind of that different in color than the rest of the coin because of the wear patterns. There's the shield. Look at that nice detail on that eagle. E pluribus unum. Nice condition. And uh, not really any hairlines too much at all. Maybe about a few there. 
<clears throat> Coin looks pretty good condition. Yeah. As you can see here, right here, I want to point one thing out to you. Notice the fields here. And then notice the fields in the word America. I do see a slight difference in tone, very slight difference in tone. I do know that age does cause silver to tone differently in different spots of the coin. <clears throat> and the field is not completely white. Like, it does have some age on it, some age dirt, and some just net age silver look. And I'm thinking that's because this coin probably, who knows how long ago, it had to be a long time ago. <clears throat> but it looks like it may have had a cleaning of really a long time ago because because the fields are almost the same as the edge here and it's got that old patina back on it again so it's probably just a really old cleaning perhaps that's probably why there's no luster but here is the coin for you and if you are interested in this piece I will have it available for you for trade and I won't be able to go any lower than the, the price that I mentioned because of how much was paid, but I can throw a few other little items in the trade for you if you like, if that would please you. So here you are, Doug, master of the Coin Freak channel, and 1829 cat bust half dollar. There's my cat. Alright then, I'll, I'll let you have a good evening. It's almost 12 o'clock at night here, so till then, Doug, Mr. Coin Freak, have a nice evening, and happy coin hunting. See you later. Bye for now.